Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to 3304. This is where I take a look at the news and happenings in and around Elite Dangerous. In this video, we look at new information for the upcoming changes to exploration. The Thargoid Cyclops is being taken down solo by Sidewinders, and the player has put together a very good alternative to the removal of Instascan for exploration. With Beyond Chapter 4 update now scheduled to enter beta within the next few weeks, all attention is being focused upon what that update will include. Now, Frontier have posted details on the exploration changes that are coming with Chapter 4, and they've also responded with some additional details since then. These details have come in the form of answers that the community have asked. So here, I'll take a look at a few of them. In response to a question about the uh, three variants of Discovery Scanner, Basic, Intermediate and Advanced, whether they'll have different effects or different power levels within the new changes, Frontier have said they are considering combining all three variants of the Discovery Scanner into a single Discovery Scanner, and then basically everyone who's already got the, one of the three Discovery Scanners will automatically get the new version, and those that paid the cheaper price will be compensated. Again though, that's just them considering it, nothing set in stone. Uh, they've been asked if there'll be a new content in USSs, and yes, there will be a new content hopefully in all variants of Unidentified Signal Source. With the new scanning changes, it does mean that you're going to need to use new mechanics to discover um, combat zones. The same will apply to all unidentified signal sources as well, and it seems, or the implication is, that this will apply to just about anything else as well. Now of course, as we currently can, you will still discover these when you fly close enough, so in some cases, when you jump into a new system, you're going to have to try and find the combat zones. You're about to do this through using the nav beacon, using a new discovery method, or just flying from planet to planet until you locate what you're looking for. The new planetary surface mapping feature will reveal to you the exact location of persistent points of interest. Those points of interest that are not persistent, such as Frontier gave the example of a collection of skimmers, those will not be locatable by the new surface scan. I don't know how you'll find those, but I guess they'll spawn in much the same way as they do right now. Frontier are currently not going to combine different uh, scanners, so there won't be a scanner rack. This was something they banded about a little while ago, but apparently that's not going to happen. Points of interest will be targetable once scanned, so you're about to target these from in orbit and then fly down directly to them. The question of credits has come up for the new system. Will it be more credits or less? Well, it turns out that it should be a higher amount of credits for roughly the same amount of time and effort. Engineering upgrades will still be applicable to detailed surface scanners, but what will happen, instead of getting a slightly shorter scan time, it will increase the probe capacity of the scanner. Stations and outposts will be automatically revealed when a player enters a system, so there is that, that should be pretty good. Now, probes themselves, these are going to work by impacting directly on the surface of the planet, so it's not going to be a case of you attempting to get them into orbit. All unidentified signal sources are still going to be specific to the commander or the player, so it won't be a case that when you jump into a system, they all spawn and everyone else uh, around will be able to see the same signal sources. Instead, it will work in much the same way. They will spawn when you jump into a system, this is new. However, they will be different for each player. But you will still be able to use wing beacons to allow friends to join you in them. And just in case it wasn't clear enough by the answer to the other question, the detailed surface scanners will have internal storage for probes, so you won't need to put them in the cargo hold. It will work much like ammunition, and this ammunition will be synthesized. So, there we have it. That's the latest information we have on the changes to exploration for Chapter 4. Now, Thargoids continue to arrive in ever more powerful forms, with the Hydra being the latest that was introduced in Chapter 3. However, the original Thargoid Interceptor, the Cyclops, continues to remain a very fun challenge, with players taking it on in all form and all manner of ships. Now, Commander Exegius has now successfully taken on and defeated the Cyclops in a Sidewinder, and you can see this on his YouTube channel. Now, whilst this specific video of his isn't narrated, and many of his others are, however, in this one, he gives you some text-based tips indicating how he achieved taking down the Cyclops in his Sidewinder. So, for those of you that may not have heard of Exegius before, he has a long list of extremely well-produced YouTube videos, and these are well worth checking out. I've linked the Sidewinder Thargoid video below, 
and I've also linked his YouTube channel, do go take a look. The exploration overhaul coming in the next update is without a doubt going to dramatically change the nature of exploring within Elite Dangerous. Now, on the one hand, this is a great thing, because exploration, at least in the sense of discovering planets, has almost zero gameplay associated with it. On the other hand, however, not everyone is happy about the change. There's a concern that some of the gameplay changes will make the discovery of planets far more time consuming, and this will impact a number of different play styles, including casual exploration and including people who like to look for unique planets and interesting looking sites. Now, the reason people wonder about this is highlighted by the changes to the discovery scanner, which currently, upon initial activation when you jump into a system, reveals all planets within that single star system. Now, it's a concern that, for now at least, which may be a mistaken concern, as we don't know too many details about the way it's going to work, but apparently, the way the changes have been presented at least, is that the discovery scanner will highlight emissions rather than planets. So some feel that the emissions will be enough to get a quick reveal of what's going on inside a system, whilst others feel that this will likely obscure what's in a system. Now, forum user Stuart GT has put in an excellent proposal together for this situation, and it's one that could possibly please both sides. Whilst for now, though it's true we still really have no idea about how Frontier's final mechanics will actually play out, this proposal is certainly still worth taking a look at. Now, it said it'll be on the scope of this video to go into details right here, however, I will link the forum thread below. Go take a look, and if you want to, do leave a comment or a reply there. So, that brings us to the end of this episode of 3304. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.